So this is a fun one, but a weird one. I, uh, sometimes I come up with some kind of weird ideas, I guess, but it was interesting. I got an interesting result. So I've been curious if I could use some different things to create different textures in the wax. So I started out with, I put a little extra wax on the surface this time. I used about four layers of white encaustic medium instead of just three, which I usually do. So it's a little bit thicker than I would normally start a painting with, but I wanted to try putting foil down, ironing over it, and seeing if I could transfer that foil texture to the wax underneath. So I had this piece and I, I ripped it. I wasn't as careful unfolding it as I would have liked, so it didn't quite cover the whole thing. So I've overlapped it in a couple places. And in pulling it off and revealing the texture, it worked fairly well. I didn't get the all over coverage that I was hoping for. Um, but one of the big problems was where the overlap was. Uh, the wax had melted and kind of buried little portions of the foil uh, quite, quite deeply under the wax in a couple places. And I believe it was because of that overlap, um, the edge. The edge of the foil on one piece got buried with the wax underneath uh, the other piece that was on top of it. So I I went ahead and removed all the foil just to see how everything looked, and I think that uh, it looked really interesting. And I was it was kind of a successful experiment, although removing the foil was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I had to just take off little flecks in some places with these tweezers because it actually, I think it was a testament to how well the technique worked. The wax really melted into the crevices of the foil and in certain areas was so deeply ingrained that I had to use tweezers to kind of pick it out of these little tiny areas. So this is what it ended up looking like. I got really good results in a couple of spots not so much coverage in certain other spots. And I think that's because of, I wasn't as careful with the iron as I should have been. I, I was really good in some spots and not very good on other spots. So I decided to try it one more time, this time with a full piece of foil with no overlaps. So I wouldn't get any little pieces buried in the wax. And I'm holding the iron onto it for a good amount of time to really make sure that I'm getting lots of of good coverage and wax melting into the foil structure. I wanted to see if removing it before it had completely cooled was a good idea, if that would help it make, make it be not so hard to peel the foil off, but it just brought a bunch of wax with it that, had, that hadn't cooled yet. So that didn't really work. So I, I let it cool and, and started peeling the foil off and realized, you know, this, that's how it's going to be if I'm going to do this anymore, is I'm going to have struggles getting all of the foil off. It's just going to take some time. But I didn't have any buried pieces this time, so not doing the overlap foil pieces was definitely a much better way to go. So I'm really having to be nitpicky here and get all these tiny little crevices, really just pinch it out of there. And I'm, the tweezers help. Um, it, it helps not to mess up the, the texture of the surface too much because 
digging this foil out. Um, I am kind of messing up the wax a little bit, but because I'm using tweezers, it's a minimal amount, so you can't really tell. This is just kind of a close up to show you a little bit, hopefully a little bit more detail, how I use the tweezers to kind of pull the, the foil out of the wax. And there it is, clean surface that has quite a good amount of overall texture to it. So I wanted to add some color This is India ink that I'm using in shades of red, orange, and yellow. I like these colors together because they, they combine to kind of create like a, a very pastel kind of sunset look, which I really like. The video almost doesn't do it justice, but I, I think I'm missing something still with this piece, so I'd love to hear you guys' suggestions on what I can do to finish this this uh, this work. I was thinking of outlining the colors in black to kind of highlight them, make them look like islands, or maybe carving some geometric shapes into the wax and using different colors to highlight those geometric shapes, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think.